Ready? I'm ready. الحب أنواع وأشكال. I think I was always selfish and self-centered most of my life. الحب الصحي ما يأذي. على قولة أمو كرتوم نحن ظلمنا الحب. I know that if I was younger and married, it would have been very difficult. أحبك بس زعلانة منك. Same as زعلانة مني. You come from London. You come to Dubai. You see my mother. Do you actually think I'm gonna marry this woman? No. والله عليك أسئلة. Yeah, these are good questions. Yeah. He knew that question would elicit that response. Oh my goodness, Anas. Now I'm crying. If this is the last time we see each other, what would you want to say to me before I go? تشوفون الحلقة لا تنسون تشتركون بالقناة وتفعلوا الجرس مرحبا حلقة خاصة اليوم والضيفة أكيد أنتوا تنتظرونها والضيف يعني هاي أنا روحي مستغرب أن هاي أول مرة يكون على البرنامج فمعاي الوالدة هلا أمي أهلين حبيبي معاي كامل هلا حبيبي أو ماك مثل ما تعرفونه فاليوم عشان الحلقة خاصة ونحتفل بشيء جميل في الدنيا وهو الحب أه عندنا أسئلة غير، عندنا أسئلة إن شاء الله تفيدكم أنتم، هاي أول مرة أنا بستعمل بعض الكروت وبسألمهم وجهة نظرهم عشان نفيدكم أنتم، وبعدين في اللي متعودين عليه في التوجذرز إن هي تسأل ماك وماك يسأل أمي، حلو؟ ولغة أنا بسأل الوالدة بالعربي وما بينهم بالإنجليزي عشان نبقى دائما اللغة المريحة لأي شخص عشان يعبر بمشاعره وبآرائه. أوكي، إنزين، السؤال الأول مني أنا لك أمي؟ أم. خلال الستين سنة اللي عشتيها في هالدنيا الحلوة وخبرتك مع كل أشكال الحب من أول أيام الحب في فترة المراهقة إلى زواجك من أبويا وزواجك من ماك وتربيتك لخمسة أولاد نعم أوكي؟ شو مفهوم الحب بالنسبة لك؟ الحب أنواع والحب حاجة شو تفسيري أنا للحب؟ آه كل إنسان يشوفه من منظورة يعني أنا كطفلة حصلت حب وايد بعد من خالاتي حصلت حب في العائلة في نفس الوقت كان عندي حرمان من عشان أبوي توفى وأنا صغيرة فكان في حاجة ملحة للحب في مشوار حياتي فكنت دائما أدور على الحب شو مفهومي؟ أنا أحس إن نحن ما نقدر نكون أصحاء نفسيا إذا ما عندنا الحب الصح في حياتنا، ومو بشرط رجل ومو بشرط عيال في اللي ما عندهم عيال ما بيقولون خلاص نحن ما بنحصل حب، الحب أنواع وأشكال ودرجات وألوان يعني الحب نحن نقدر نتكلم فيه والعلماء احتاروا والشعراء كل انسان يشوفه بنظرته وبطريقه لكن انا احس بطعم الحب يعني الطعمه خصوصا الحب اللي في الفطره عندي معاكم والحب يتغير على اللي انا احتاجه يوم انا عمري عشر سنوات غير انا عمري عشرين ولا عمري خمسة وثلاثين ولا الحين في الستين وايد يختلف. اوكي. ماك. يا. 
For a man who got married later in his life and had the blessing of becoming a father at that stage in your life, how did having Hassan introduce you to a new form of love? It was the single most important thing that impacted my life, the birth of Hassan. And the fact that Hala had Hassan at the age of almost 40. 41. 41, there you go. It was not, it was not uh, easy for her to give us this gift. How did having Hassan impact me? It changed everything. I think I was always selfish and self-centered most of my life. I still am. But having Hassan took the focus off me and put it on him, the family, put it on Hala and Hassan, because I now had to think of another human being. But what a, what a wonderful gift that was. Hassan changed my life. Hala and Hassan changed my life. Hassan really turned it around. Hassan was the gift that didn't stop giving. And I think both Hala and I, uh, I think we loved that boy every day. And he was soaked in love. I think we did, uh, I think we did a good job with Hassan. That's how it impacted. He becomes emotional when you talk about Hassan. <laughs> nah, you can't, yeah. yeah. Okay, I become so emotional because... Yeah, no, but, but every father gets emotional when he talks about it's his deep. son. Hassan was serious stuff. <laughs> hmm. See, this is uh, what I was knew, saying. Yeah. He knew that question would elicit that response. And that's why he asked me. That's and that's what I said about love. Yeah. It has so many levels. As I get older, I find that this happens more often. Yeah. Crying? The over-emotional, but then I've always been susceptible to it. We have to remove that to us. No, it's okay. Yeah. It's part of the show and... Uh, it's beautiful. People are used to... <laughs> people are used to uh, Mac um, celebrate emotions in the show. Are they really? And, and I think it's very important uh, and beautiful that men that come on the show have emotions and are willing to say, you know what, I do have feelings and this is my son or this is my wife or this is my mother. And I think it's a great celebration. So Okay. All right. So whatever you felt I'm feeling because you're yeah, speaking no, I, father I can to see father. That. Yes, so I, but you yeah. understood it as a father. Yeah. Specifically. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for that. Pleasure. Okay. al mm -hmm. حق شخص يدور على الحب في حياته شو تقولين له؟ اوكي هالسؤال الاول وبعد اقدر اضيف الحين علي مره واحده شو هو الحب الصحي؟ اوكي اوكي اللي يدور على الحب انا بقول اللي مايا انجلا تقول بيبل شو يو هو ذي ار الشخص يظهر لك ما ما هو او ما هي الشخص يراويك انا منه فإذا تدورين على الحب لا تجلسين تعذرين وإذا تدور لا تجيبون له أعذار الشخص قاعد يراويك هو مخلص أو مو مخلص هو قد كلمته أو مو قد هو يبغي يعني يستقر ولا ما يبغي أنت جزء أو أنت الكل الشخص يظهر لنا هل هل مقولة طبعا أنا أحسها من من أفضل وأعظم المقولات اللي استوت عشان الإنسان وايد يتعلم إذا بس ركز الشخص قاعد يراويك فإذا دورين حب أنا دائما أقول الحب الواحد لازم يكون على أنضج يعني واحد صغير وايد عاطفي وأحاسيس بس يوم أنت كبير أو أكبر شوي الإنسان مستقر العقل يجي قبل القلب <تصفيق> السؤال الثاني شو؟ شو هو الحب الصحي؟ الحب الصحي الحب الصحي ما يدمر الحب الصحي ما يأذي الحب الصحي معظم الوقت انت في علاقة زينة يعني ما في حد يخنى من الزعل والخصام وال 
اختلاف مو مشكلة بس ال... إذا معظم علاقتي أنا فيها مشاكل وأنا على أعصابي وفيها تحكم وفيها سيطرة وفيها الغيرة اللي باسم الحب يسمونه واللي هو غلط لكن إذا أنا حب هذا مو بحب نحن نحن على قولة أم كرتوم نحن ظلمنا الحب الحب ينمي يطور يعدل يخليك أفضل من قبل ويخلي العلاقة أفضل فهذا اللي أنا أقول هذا الحب الصحي إني أنا أرتقي من مكاني لمكان أعلى Ready? I'm ready. Uh, Mac, what is your advice to men when it comes to love and marriage? Let go. And it ought to be about freedom, not about control, which is something Hala and I have been blessed to have from the beginning. Yeah. We're free to come and go. We're free to speak. Mafi control. Abs- uh, we've, I've never experienced that from you. We've experienced uh, opinions, mm. forthright opinions. Um, uh, we've been upset. But in all of that, there's always been that space yeah. and he had a, I think also because I got married at 35 I was 40 we were older we were more experienced in life we had we, yeah, we'd, we'd been around for a period of time to know that jealousies and daily phone calls and where have you been and who are you seeing it doesn't work control in a marriage doesn't work and I I know that for sure and that's why our relationship has has blossomed and has has never experienced that the issues that maybe younger couples have experienced because I know that if I was younger and married it would have been very difficult because I'm not a particularly easy person hmm. for sure okay so for men you'd say um, so I didn't to answer your question Anas. no you did but more in a generic form and that's why I'm gonna narrow it you do you said, want me to look at you or look no, at her no, you can look whatever you want you can look at Hamad if you want <laughs> um, so the adv- it was advice for men when it comes to love and marriage and your, your answer uh, was also applicable because um, if as men we think um, approaching it at maturity rather than immaturity is one uh, approaching Either. it with the, not with the mission of control but a mission of space um, I hope I'm summarizing Correct. what you're saying um, and the fact that you don't f- focus on the nitty gritty things that might suffocate a relationship but rather I guess look at a healthy approach and let go and let go uh, freedom Hala knows I love the desert. Hala knows I love to be alone. She's never once in 20 years crowded me. I've never felt like pulling my hair out and running from the house because I feel crowded. I've seen that in marriages growing up from my parents' side, from my, family, uh, from my family's side, my family's side, and I've seen it or heard of it here. Hmm. It's very important for a marriage to have space. It's very important to share things together, but not 24 hours on top of one another, 24 hours a day. I did that when I was 20. It didn't work. Ummi. مثل ما تعرفين الحب متقلب. أحيانا نمر بأوقات سعيدة وأحيانا نمر بأوقات حزينة. كيف تتعاملين مع هاي التقلبات, the ups and downs في الحب؟ العلاقة في فوق وتحت درجات الحب تروح فوق وتحت الحب الأساسي موجود كم أنا اليوم زعلانة من ماك هل ما أحبه؟ لا مثل ما أنا 
أحبك بس زعلانة منك بس هي مش زعلانة مني لا <تصفيق> فدرجاتها تختلف يوم أنا أسافر أشتاق له وأحبه أكثر عشان أنا بعيدة <تصفيق> يوم أنا 24 ساعة في وجهها يعني مو نفس الدرجة خلينا نكون طبيعيين مرات بالعكس نبى نشرد يعني عن بعض الحب لازم يكون الأساس فاونديشن الحين أنت تروح وتي وفوق وتحت فاين بس في أساس <تصفيق> لأن أنا شخصيا هذا كلام حقي إذا ما أحب الشخص ما أقدر أتم معه في ناس يقدرون أنا ما أقدر أنا لازم أحس إني أنا أحب الشخص فوق وتحت لكن اللي اكتشفته أنا إني أنا الحين أحب ماك أكثر من يوم ما أنا أول ما قابلته أو أول بداية حبي حبي الحين أكثر بس حبي الحين مودة هل أنا أحبه في اللغة اللي عندنا و وآية وجعلنا بينكم مودة ورحمة المودة أنا أسميها soft love kind love يعني الحب الهادي ما في أنا ما عندي صبر أشوفه من قدامي 24 ساعة شو ما عندي صبر أشوفه لكن حب هدى بس عميق uncertain انسرتن تعرفين اللي حبيته يعني وايد عيبتيني بالطريقه اللي فهمتي عشان ما كنت متوقع هالجواب قلتي الحب اساس بس في درجات إيه؟ بس الحب موجود موجود من اجمل بسطتي وايد احس وبطريقه حلوه آه ماك هاو فار وود يو جو فور لاف اي كيم اول ذا واي فروم لندن هير But you didn't come for love. Did you? Maybe. Like, was that in the back of your no. mind? But you no. came from London, you came here and love hit you. It was all unexpected, all by surprise. Neither she nor I expected any of this to transpire as it unfolded. How far would I go for love? I'd go all the way. For my wife. For my family, there isn't anything I wouldn't do to keep it. Mm. Is, would, that the, I, is that what you mean? Can I add something? Once I finish, okay. I have okay, a more. second part okay. to it. So the answer, right? The answer you said you'd go, for, you'd go all the way for love, for your family, for you know, a wife and all of that. No, um, my wife. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> did, <coughs> did, um, did this answer change throughout your life? Was it always like that? No, because of the type of person I am, it took decades for me to develop and it took the right woman, the right person to help me become who I am today. Hmm. Had I not married Hala, I am almost certain the relationship would not have lasted because she met me and she was able to meet me head on. I'm selfish and self-centered. She's patient enough to be able to deal with that. She's patient enough to be able to deal with my moodiness. She's not as moody as I am at all. I am. I have my bouts. You're much better now. I'm much better now. We are much better now. Uh, I have an extra question that I'm curious, uh, personally. So when you came from London and you saw her for the first time, it's a cheesy question, <laughs> but the first time you come from London, you come to Dubai, you see my mother, do you actually think I'm going to marry this woman? No, but I could not keep my eyes off her. Uh. When I first saw her, I could not keep my eyes off her and I was playing a game of Monopoly with my beloved uncle Muhammad. And, and I, I, it was in the house of my aunt and the lady. Mm. My aunt was a friend of, of Hala's. Three years before I met you. And the lady that walked through the door, I had no idea who she was, where she was from, what her background was, but I was mesmerized by her eyes and her face. It lit up the room. I could not 
stopped looking at your mother to the point where I felt that she might, you know, be, because she could see that I was I was so uncomfortable. Me the city. She was stunning. Nice. She was? She was stunning. <laughs> she was? She is stunning, but she was stunning. She was stunning. How far I will go for that? Not, not far. Hmm. Because sometimes the person that we love, they're not healthy for us. I'm not talking about me and Mac, I'm talking in general. Hmm. Uh, it's different when you are settled and this is what we have. Hmm. But how in general question, I don't think you just have to go by love. Because there are other aspects. يعني, برجع أتكلم بالعربي يعني كم شو بسوي للحب يعني هل أنا بروح لآخر الدنيا حق شخص لا إلا إذا الشخص مناسب اللي هو مثلا حتى ولدك لا ولدي غير أنا أتكلم عن علاقة حب, حب حب رجل وامرأة أوكي. الحب مو دائما يكون قرار صحيح إذا أنا أحب شخص يمكن مو بزين حقي فهل أنا بسوي كل شيء عشانك أترك الدنيا وعائلتي عشان أحب شخص مو دائما لا مو دائما صح بس لو شخص يمكن صحي حبه صحي وهو زين حق الشخص يمكن الواحد يستاهل عشان إذا أهلي موافقين أوكي أنا حلو. عندي هذه النقطة وايد مهمة حلو. لأن نحن الزواج عندنا عائلتين مو بشخصين أوه كنا وي سويتش أب كيف الحين الأسئلة بينكم يو أسك ماي مادر ماي مادر أسكس يو الله يستر أوكي يلا تفضل Okay, جاهزة؟ يلا. Ready? Okay. What about our relationship makes you the happiest? كلام كبير. What about our relationship makes me the happiest? That's a good question. It's a foundational question. The fact that I trust you implicitly. I trust my wife, and I've always said that as long as we have that foundation of trust, that anything that happens above that will be fine. That's what makes me happy, is that I know that you're always, I, you're always there for me, which is a little bit of selfishness, but I trust you completely. And I know that my father trusted my mother completely and my mother trusted my father. It's something I have seen and I'm used to. I can't imagine what it would be like living in a marriage where you don't trust the other person. It would be horrible. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ustad Mac. No. And you can ask this, wait, then ask the next one, then she answers, then she answers. So I'll go three. Just one by one, one. Let her answer the first one, then the second. Okay, get ready. Yeah. What in our relationship has stayed the same since the beginning? Wow. Yeah, these are good questions. They've been stayed thought out. Stayed the same? Uh, what has stayed the same? Your love for me, to me, or to, for me. حبك لي دائما يعني الحين أكثر طبعا بس it always stayed the same. What has changed? هديت الحمد لله هدينا. Fair enough. Mm. Lastly. What did we used to do more of in the beginning of our relationship that you wish we still did? لا والله كنا نروح يمكن مطعم كنا نروح مطاعم أكثر ويا بعض كنا نروح سينما بس قلت لك أنا ما بروح السينما ويا You're not a good company in the cinema. Perhaps. مطاعم يمكن. خلاص we'll go to more restaurants. يلا يا ماك 
How would you describe my love for you? Consistent. Always present. Consistent and always present. There hasn't been a period of our 20 years of marriage where I have felt that it is not there. It is that I have felt it is elsewhere. 20 years. Have either you or I ever been jealous of one another? Yeah. It's never been a part of our makeup. And yet we hear and see so many couples who are ravaged by it. It's persistent and so consistent. My love for you. Gala. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'm just reading it. That's that's how I see it. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. What is a mistake that you have made in a relationship in the past? that you don't want to repeat? Um, forget myself. Yani. Yani, in my relationship with you, I was much more clear of what I want and who I am, and I don't give in. Like, I took care of me. I made sure to know what I want. I was very protective of my freedom. Not that you did, you know, uh, caged me, but I knew and I, was ma I made sure that I am protected of this, protective of this. Well, yeah. Yeah. I would agree with that. I know better, la. Yeah, you, you learn. You know better, you, you do learned. better, my Angelo. Yeah. <laughs> we have one son together, Hassan, and one, and an adopted one, Tariq. Would you compare your love for? No. How would you compare your love for each? Do you want me to repeat it? How would I compare yani, my We love have for each? one son together, Hassan. Yes. And we adopted son, Tariq. Tariq. How would you compare your love for each? I love both of the boys. I learned to love Tariq, yeah. and you helped me do that. Alone, I would not have been able to do that because I don't have the capacity to do that without guidance. And you gave me that guidance. It was very difficult in the beginning. Do you remember? And we worked our way through it. Until today, Tarek is an integral part of our family's life. He's the eldest son. And I always say, he's the best of them all. And I mean it when I say that. But I couldn't have done it alone. You did it alone. I couldn't have done it alone. I'm emotional with you. They're, they're yeah. very thought out questions and clearly targeted to your mother and to me. They're made. Um, the, <coughs> you know what, I love this honest answer because you are so raw about the process. People are trying to adopt children and they, they think it should be from day one they fall in love. And I don't think it's that simple and I think you use the word that also my mother uses that she learned to love Tarak and she guided you. And I, I know because I see you all the time, you love Tarak. Like, I do. He's your boy. Yes. And to see that there was so much work put into it, but now it's gorgeous. Yes. And he's we a know, good man. He's a wonderful man. Mm -hmm. He's a hard-working, honest, upstanding, 
young man. He's going to go far. And that's that's twenty years mm. twenty years later. Yeah. He came into our uh, he came into my life when he was six. So, mm. Yes. We twenty years we've been married. Tariq is now twenty six. Yeah. Twenty seven. A year here and there. Again? Yeah, you too, Mom. Oh. Hala, what is one thing about me you absolutely love? Your good heart. <laughs> I've never seen, and your generosity, not just one. I have no. to say a few things. Your generosity and your good heart. You are better than me in these things. You're very, yani, You're very generous too, dear. No, but you're a very good-hearted man. You adopted a, baby, a child. I mean, how much more generous can you be by yourself? Bye. Next question. Mm -hmm. What is something about me that really frustrates you? <laughs> it's a long <laughs> list. La hala wana. Can just. I'm gonna go. Your tantrums. Yeah. Now you see. It's less. <laughs> But your tantrums and uh, <laughs> you're making me laugh now. The عصبية وشو بعد اللي خرب عصابي يعني. Yeah, frustrates you. Hey. اللي خرب عصابي. اللي خرب عصابي. Yeah. Yeah. العصبية. Same thing. Yeah. Frustrates. Yeah. العصبية و. I repeat things. Huh? I repeat things. He repeats things. Oh, why is yes. <laughs> that? So two questions. When do you feel the closest to me? At night, during reading time. When the lights are low, that's in Dubai. Or when we go for walks together, but usually that's when we're not in the UAE because there's always distractions and interruptions when we're going for a walk. Um, mobile phone, you, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, when the day has calmed down, it's usually in the evening time. Yeah. What, what can I do more of in our relationship? Stay away from the mobile phone. Yeah, I know. Hello. Yeah. Mobile phone sucks. Hello. What's one thing you think makes our relationship unique from everyone else's? Hmm. I would not say from everyone else's because I'm sure في حد غيرنا يعني لكن أظن المساحة اللي تكلم فيها قبل إن وايد أحب الحرية في الزواج اللي عندي معه يعني عندي حرية في زواجي ما أحس إني أنا محبوسة ما أحس إن ما أقدر أسوي أنت في حياتك ما قلت لي لا تسافرين لا تروحين لا ما في تق... تقييد عشان أنت تعرف إني أنا بسوي اللي علي فما في قيود أحس معي. I'm not interested in doing that to you. What our uh, laugh together. Yeah, when yeah. it starts, it's bad. نضحك لين الحين نضحك يا بعض. يضحكني دم خفيف بعش أسوي. العرج المصري. سامعيني. <laughs> <laughs> Very good questions, Anas. Uh, two questions, huh? Mm -hmm. What loving thing do I do that you like the most? Hmm. Oh, okay. You bake me yeah. beautiful cakes. I wake up in the morning or I come back from the office to the smell of freshly baked bread in the house. 
since I was this high. I have memories of my grandmother, my Egyptian and Scottish grandmother, and my mother, and then you, and I never asked you to do it. You do it voluntarily. The houses smell full with the smell of freshly baked cakes and fresh, fresh bread. I love that smell. That has always comforted me. Okay. That's one thing. Um, if we break up tomorrow, what would you miss the most? Everything. I would miss the foundation that has kept me and given me the life that I have today. Quite We're not literally. breaking up, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a difficult question to answer. It needs mm -hmm. some thought. And you can feel free to take your time. No, but it's, a, it's foundational. I mean, without your mother... Your mother travels the first two or three days. What do I always say to her on the phone? We needed the break. It's great. After five or six days, I want her back. I want her back. She's a lot more independent than I am, so she's able to function at a level higher than I am alone. I'm not. I know that and I have recognized that as I get older. Hmm. I like to make you think I'm good at being alone. And there's many things that I do that make you think that, but I'm not. As long as I know she's there, I'm hovering around, I know she's <laughs> there, there's a comfort in my life that is foundational for me. Hmm. And I thought I wasn't like that, but as I, at this age, I recognize that I am. She is not like that. She doesn't need that. I want. She is able to function at an independent level more than me. Good answer. Do you think I'm a good husband? I think you became a good husband. Oof. Because it was difficult. In the beginning. In the beginning. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 But um, I think through life, through experiences, up and ups and downs, and, um, you know, yeah. yeah. There's just no doubt about it. You kept us together. I was just, it's so difficult in the beginning. I remember the first three years when after Hassan was born. For me, to be able to cope. Yeah. I think it was you that carried us through. Do you think I'm a good father? Avan, you are the greatest father I have ever seen. And I know when you say that, there isn't a doubt in your mind when you say that. <laughs> Although I feel that I was a better father when Hassan was younger and thought it was it's younger. It's easier. Yeah. When they get older, they are pain in the neck. That's it. And yeah, but I think yeah. when they're older, I think you're a lot more yeah, I'm better. efficient. You're yeah. better at it. Uh, I dealt with five, four before exactly. Hassan. Five so, boys. And I have <laughs> experience. مربية قبل لكن أنا بعد أقل عاطفية منك أنت يعني أنت العاطفة تأخذك مع حسن عشان هو بعد ابن ولدك الوحيد أنا I'm the bad guy تعرف يعني أنا أقول الشيء وأنا صار ما يمكن أكثر في بعض الأشياء بس أنت أبو ماشي مثلك Thank you dear <coughs> uh, 
if this is the last time we see each other, what would you want to say to me before I go? Thank you for being there for me always and for giving me a life that neither you nor I ever asked for or imagined. That's what I would say to you. That's what comes to mind. Thank you for Hassan. Thank you for being a wonderful mother. Thank you for always being there for us. Thank you for always bailing me out of emotional trouble when I get myself all wound up. Thank you for calming. There's a lot of things. But the first thing was the most important. It brings it all together. Sweetie, if after a long and happy life, you're laying in bed taking your final breaths, uh, you have all of us sitting around you, what would you want to tell us before you go? This is Anas' question. This is your... You can keep it. Yeah, it's basically your last breath. What would I say to you? Yeah, I mean, you'd to have your children around you, you'd have everyone around you. It's not something I like to think about. Actually, it's you. a very good uh, ending if you have the loved ones around you. Yeah. I would say... It's uncontrollable, um, it's ridiculous. Both of us were there in the deathbed of our parents. So, I know what it's like. Is it okay to jump? Yes. <laughs> um, I would say that celebrate my life. I had an amazing life. You did, and, didn't you? And uh, with all the hardships and the uh, happiness <coughs> and ups and downs I want you guys to celebrate my life instead of of course you people cry after you die and واحد يصيح ويزعل لكن يا ريت نحتفل بحياة الشخص في حياتنا so انا بقول uh, thank you all of you for being of course in my journey يعني كلام اللي أحسه كل حد بيقول لكن يمكن بيلس أوجه كل كلمة لكل حد يعني بس خليته حياتي متعة خليته حياتي غنية أنا المس يوكاي no, I'm crying. Wow. Yeah. It's been an adventure. Ramushi. There you go, son. Um, you said to be to a jing kill my little shucks. Should be to a jing the Nasal Hodge, the Nasal to be in home hanged and the chanty. I will say to Mark that uh, I never thought I would have uh, this interesting marriage and uh, I never thought I would uh, experience this kind of love that I'm experiencing now. It's a very calming, settled love 
especially in my age now, I love it. It's, it's a very yeah. subtle love. And uh, I do love you. Like, I really do love you. And I don't need to be with you, but I want to be with you. You know what? I know. I know with 100% certainty what she's saying to be true. And she knows it. And I know it. Full stop. And uh, with you, Anas, now I start crying because it's my kids. Anas, this is Anas. I know. It's your boys. You are a man. It's too good to have a man like you. Like, I think I could be one of the very few people in the world to have a son like you. Really. Every day, kill you with bitly in the Kaalam. Kill you. Had the Yaman and get like, um, can't be shay, but who can let me? And I'm like, wow. Had a real Adim. Mad, uh, Bagula. ما في مثلك اثنين بطيبة قلبك وهدوء عشرتك و yeah such a kind man معاذ طيب حارث يونيك حارث بقول له أنت خليتني أستمتع بأمومتي معك هي متعة يعني معاذ أحس هذه حبة مع حارث متعة my motherhood to him is متعة طارق آه وأنا قلت هذا قبل خلاني أحب أكثر علمني أسوي أبجريد للحب إنك أنت تحب إنسان بالأصل غريب عليك لكن أحس قطعة مني أحس حبي غير حب طارق غير ومن ما أشوفه يكبر بعد أحس شيء أنا مرات إلي أفكر بيني وبين نفسي كنت عاطفية وأحس إنه يبته وهو عمره سنة والحين هو ريال حسن الهدية آه وأنا يعني ما توقعت أنه أصلا يوم الأيام بتزوج أجنبي آه ويكون عندي ولد بعد أربعة فهو الهدية وختامه مسك ف يا رحلة رحلة وايد غنية وايد غنية يعني أنا ذكر مرة قلت لك إذا أنا باكر مت أحس أنا محصلة هل قد حب في حياتي من الناس من أهلي من عيالي من صديقاتي من زوج يعني أنا عندي تشبع مع أنه مو ما حد يشبع من الحب لكن أنا محظوظة إني أنا أحصل حب هل قد It's been a rich fulfilling journey Yes Yeah it's, I can yeah. see that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I enjoy my, you know, my journey with you. Now more so. I have a bonus one. Yeah. Uh, that I just thought of, but it's very uh, suitable, I guess, to AB talks. But I want you to tell me the first word that comes to your mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, okay. Then both of you have to answer at the same time okay. or think of it, but don't change. If I asked you, since this is a very love-based uh, uh, episode, mm. love in one word, first word that comes to your mind. Trust. Giving. Mm. Because you want to get, you give, you get. Thank you. Well done. Well done. You're, you're actually
actually able to hold the emotion whilst looking me in the eye. Mm. That's something I find very difficult to do. Mm. 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 Yes, Habib, well done. Habib. Thank you, man. Thank you so wow. much. Wow. What did you feel at What? Where is my glasses? Inside, inside. Huh? Inside. Oh. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I hope it's your first experience. It's yes. crazy. Yes. Well, you've been, you but you been. are so like suitable for these kind of conversations because you, you have your heart on your sleeve. And that's what the show needs is the people need rawness and realism and a, a, a honest view on love and life. And I think we, we don't do that enough. Uh, my mother is pragmatic. Yeah. And we get her point of view and even the audience, pragmatic, pragmatic practical. and practical. Amelia, yeah. um, but also from a man's perspective, you know, us as men and uh, fathers and people who've loved in their life, we don't have that much on this, you know. Yes. Uh, my mother brings a nice fresh angle to women on how they can approach also love and a, a lot of it is applicable also to men. but. You also today added so much value also from a father and how a man can conduct himself in a relationship to have a mutually beneficial longevity in, in a relationship. And I think this is what, like I hope and I know personally that a lot of people will benefit from something like this. Well, I'm delighted to hear that. But I'd just like to add that that's our experience. Might mm -hmm. not necessarily be correct for others. Yeah, but it can inspire and then people do it in their own versions and their own styles. Who do you feel the idea that you have to get to people that the marriage or the relationship is not a mythical? There's nothing mythical. We have to be a day when we are shedding and 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 we are shedding. But the difference is that أنا تعلمت منه تعلمت منه الكوميونيكيشن يعني قبل كنت أتفق وأسكت بالأيام وما أتكلم بعدين كان يقول لي يعني قولي لي قولي لي شو عندك يعني خلينا نتواصل فالنقطة لازم توصل للناس إن الموضوع مو موضوع مثالية وهو يسوي لها وهي تسوي له لا نحن أخذ منه سنوات اشتغلنا عشان وصلنا الحين في عمر انت الحين 55 وانا 55 وانا 60 ان نقول يا اي لاف بينج ان ذس مارج انا استمتع اني اكون في هالزواج لكن اخذ منه وايد يا ما كنا حتى نفكر خلاص ما نقدر نكمل اوف كورس مثل كل زواج بس لازم الاساس يكون اني اذا ابغي <تصفيق> الرغبة مب الحاجة. To me, the foundation of trust has never once been broken, and that's why with you I can go through anything. It's very critical because I'm that kind. That loyalty, that quality, is critical for the foundation of a of a marriage. Trust.